we're going to talk through the generating a document workflow in Smartsheet that helps us create a PDF based on data in a row. So I have this example of a W9 IRS form, and you can see all the different fields in here that I have, and we're going to map this to different fields on that PDF form for the W9. So first, what I like to do is actually create a new column called generate a document, and I'm going to use this as my trigger. So basically what I want to happen is when I check the box to generate the document and then I click save, then the PDF gets filled out and then it'll get attached onto this row. So I'm just going to create that right now. And then what we're going to do is actually create our automation. So when generate a document gets checked, I'm going to call this generate a W9 PDF. So when that generate document gets checked, I don't need any conditions here. Then we're going to generate the document and I am going to create a new mapping actually. So I had one already pre-made, but I will make this new one from scratch. Should I just delete this? So I want to create a PDF mapping here. I believe as of right now for integrating with DocuSign, you do need enterprise plan, but don't quote me on that. But if it is possible to actually integrate this whole process with DocuSign, and I've done it very successfully. But for this one, we're just going to fill the PDF out. And then we're going to upload our PDF. So some caveats here to talk about before I go to the next step. One, your PDF actually has to be a fillable PDF. It has to be fillable. I have encountered so many situations where people run into an error, but it's because their PDF's not actually fillable. So it needs to be from Adobe actually fillable. I don't know how to emphasize that enough to say it actually has to be fillable. Um, the other thing to denote as well is that any kind of stylistic things that you want in your PDF, so font type, font size, center alignment, so on and so forth, that has to be done in Adobe that cannot be changed in Smartsheet. There is no formatting options in here, so keep that in mind. All right, so I do recommend naming your mapping. So I'm just going to call this W9 PDF. And what you'll do is really simple is you'll just start dragging and dropping your fields. This is the column. These are the columns from your sheet and you're just dragging and dropping them to the field on the fillable PDF. Now, something to note, I'm picking up this field here and you can see behind this field there's a bunch of red fields on my pdf and those are not able to be mapped to so i wanted to show you this so that you can understand if it's red it's telling you it cannot be mapped to so i'm not going to be able to map these but anything in green i will be able to map so i'm just going to keep dragging dropping and another thing to keep in mind here is if you look at the social security number it looks like it's mapping the entire if we look at the sheet and we'll see this when we create this document but the entire entire social security number looks like it's only going to be put into one section of it on this pdf so even though there's room for it in these in these other sections so we might need to break that up on the sheet side which we'll do together so i'm just going to map those for now i'm going to click save and i'm going to go back here so this is in a new tab i'm going to reload my mappings and i'm going to select my mapping so everything looks good i'm going to click save it's this is the workflow you can see the icon for the generated documents a yellow icon i'm going to go back to my sheet and i'm going to check my box which is my trigger and then sometimes it, it could take up to a minute 
and I'm going to click refresh. All right, and now my document has been generated. I'm going to click on it. Let's preview it. So you can see it filled out these fields here, and you see how the social security number got cut off. It only did the first three digits. So what I would probably do is break that up. into three columns. And you would probably want to do the same thing for the employee, employer ID number. And we don't actually need these dashes. Okay. And now we'll need to go back to our mapping, edit it. Okay, and you can see that I probably need to refresh again because I don't see the new columns I made. So let's just go back. If you need to go at your mapping at any point, you'll come into that workflow. And then what I like to do is create new mapping again, and it'll show you all of these. If you wanted to create another one, you could come here, but I just come to the one I've already made. And now you can see all the fields have actually showed up. And what I'm gonna do is I'll probably just remap this. Okay, save. Now I'm going to come into my sheet and what I'm going to do to re-trigger this, let's look at our PDF first. So it just says W9 PDF, it tells you the row it's on, the date that this PDF was created. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck, save my sheet, recheck, save my sheet, and it will take another minute to run but it should generate a new version. All right, so now you can see this is version two. If you ever wanna look at your version history, you can, you can see version one, version two, which is a really nice feature to have. And now it has broken out my social security number. Feel free to steal that by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, it's broken that out into three different sections here. So a really nice way to map a lot of different fields into your PDF. And you only have to do the mapping once, and then it'll come through and do it for all your sheets or all your rows. So now let's just say I'm going to come in here and do all these things at once. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I've just generated a document for every row. And again, it's just taking those fields from that row and putting them on the PDF. If you need to download these all into a zip file at once, for whatever reason, you can come over into your attachments. You could click any row or you could just click the sheet toolbar here and then toggle over to all you can click this checkbox here and then download five files. It'll put it into a really nice zip file for you. So just something to note. All right, so this is the generating a document workflow in Smartsheet. And in the next lesson, I will go through how to connect this and integrate this with DocuSign.